If you ask most people if they've ever read the entire Bible, they're going to tell you no. And by the way, this is not just non-Christians, we're also talking about Christians here, including myself. So we're all pretty much on the same boat when it comes to this whole thing. For the better part of this year, I have been on a journey to reading the entire Bible. And I just finished through the Old Testament, and reading the Old Testament really felt like watching Sailor Moon. I know that sounds a little weird, but believe me, you're going to understand where I'm coming from. But before we get to the whole Sailor Moon thing, let me tell you about how I was inspired to step out of my shell to go beyond my limits, well, more like shamed into wanting to read the entire Bible. Okay, so during a seminar class that I was taking where, you guessed it, we were studying the Bible, there was someone that shared that their 13-year-old daughter, get this, had read the entire Bible twice and she was on her way to reading it for the third time. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking that this dude was probably lying because there is no way that this little girl's power level was over 9,000. It's over 9,000! 9,000? There's no way that can be right! It can't! But let's remember that Christians can't lie. Whether this was true or not, this was my wake-up call. This was the moment that I realized that I needed to straighten up. I needed to get my act together. Look guys, the YouTube algorithm has no idea what to do with this weird channel of mine. So it's up to us to get the word out there about this channel. So please go ahead and share this video. So I set out to prove myself. I would read the entire Bible. I would prove that little girl that she had nothing on me. Well, in my case, I would listen to the entire Bible. Now guys, cut me a break here. I have two boys at home and one is only a month old. So I needed to lower the level a little bit. Okay, so here's the deal with this whole Sailor Moon thing. When I was a kid and I would get home, I would watch Toonami because Toonami was one of the only places that you could get your Dragon Ball Z fix. Now back then, it wasn't like today where you could go to a service and just click on Dragon Ball Z and you'd start watching. You had to sit through an entire lineup before you could watch your favorite show. And you guessed it, the anime that came before Dragon Ball Z was Sailor Moon. And I really think that Tsunami did this on purpose because we knew that we would sit and suffer through anything in order to watch Goku turn Super Saiyan and kick Frieza's butt. I'm gonna slap some sense into you! <laughs> Now, reading the Old Testament felt a lot like watching Sailor Moon before getting to Dragon Ball Z. To be honest with you guys, the Old Testament proved really hard to get through. Now, I know that some of you are already looking at me like, really, dude? Isn't that the book with all the fun stories that I learned in Sunday school? Guys, that's only Genesis. We have 38 other books to go. And most of these books are basically filled with stories of Israel, God's people, betraying God and disobeying him. You get to a point where your reaction to these stories are basically just like, really, dude? Again? Have you guys not learned your lesson? And more and more, you just want to get to the gospel so you can get to Jesus and hear some good news. Now check this out, one of the things that helped me get through the Old Testament is the understanding that all of these people that I was reading about only had the hope of the Messiah. Well, me sitting here today, I have access to Jesus, Jesus had already come and resurrected, and the gospel was freely available to me. So my encouragement to you is that if you are struggling to read through the Old Testament like I was, I would encourage you to remember that, hey man, you're, you're really sitting in a good position today. Those guys could only hope for the gospel, but we have the gospel available to us today. So keep going and remember that you will eventually get to Jesus and the great news that he brought for each and every one of us. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was helpful. And as always, please make sure to share, like, and subscribe this video so we can get out to more people. As always, remember that we must persevere.